It is the duties of both of you to find the greatest joy in the company of each other. To remember that in both interests and affections, you are to be one and undivided. first met back in the 90s and have been best friends ever since. I remember being young girls thinking about our future and how our love stories would turn out. I remember your love, sto your love story starting with the biggest teddy bear I have ever seen and now we're here almost nine years later celebrating the fact that two people have fell in love and have met their soulmate. I can't wait to see where life takes you and all the adventures in between. I love you guys. Oh man, where do I start? I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. But it's going to be so hard. You're my partner in crime, my best friend, my better half. You're everything to me, and the one person who has my whole heart, whole heart. I love that you have such a big, beautiful personality. You're not afraid to be yourself around me. When you dance around me and sing songs towards me, I may shake my head. But in all actuality, that is one of my favorite things. I love that you have patience with me. I know I'm a strong-headed and almost near impossible person to deal with, but you have accepted me for the I am. I love that you challenge me each and every day. I'm a very shy person, but somehow you've been able to get me through more of my show in my life. Before I met you, I would have never gotten up in front of a crowd to sing a song, let alone try and pronounce or memorize a Bible verse and song in front of a whole church. But most of all, I love you because you love me for me. I'm strong headed, stubborn woman. Jeez. Richard, I vow to always support you no matter what life throws at you, good or bad. You'll never be alone. I vow to love you always and forever, on the rainy days and on the sunny days. I promise you I'll always try my best to be the best in all aspects of life as your wife mother of your future children, as your life partner and as your best friend. I promise to grow with you each and every day, and most importantly, that the Lord is the foundation of our love and growth as a married couple. I can't wait to do life with you. We have so much ahead of us and so much to look forward to. I cannot wait to experience it all head on with you right there by my side as my husband. I'm so proud of how far you've come as a person and the strong man you're becoming. I love for you when I'm around. Taylor, my love, my joy, my stubborn headache, I take you as my wife, my partner, and more importantly, my best friend. I vow not just to love you, but to understand you more each and every day. I vow to always be there when you need me, even when you grow tired of me. I vow to continuously improve and work on myself so that I can give you the best that I can give. Your love loves so carelessly. It's genuinely one of the most caring, thoughtful people that I know. You remind me of my mother in this way. Today, I promise you to show you the same love in sickness and in health, 
for richer, for poor, for better, for worse. Lastly, I vow to, uh, to love you understandingly, maturely, and accepting of your imperfections until death do us part. For you see, from the time she was born, I prayed my little girl would find a kind, gentle, compassionate companion, a husband who would love her, honor her, and protect her. All the prayers I've ever prayed were answered by you. For all of this and more, I will forever love you. You are an incredible, wonderful, heaven-sent son-in-law. A mother is never ready to let go of her little girl. Memories of bedtime stories that set your mind a whirl. You filled my days and my heart with a joy beyond compare. Moments of your childhood, that ones that we both share. Now you'll make new memories with your groom who holds you your heart. I see the way he looks at you. The love that his eyes impart. My little girl is all grown up. My arms can let her go. My heart will always hold you close with the love you'll always know. I was told by a wise man to make sure you enjoy every moment rather than worry or stress because today will fly by in an instant. Boy, he was right. The stress isn't worth it. What is, is what's here.
and what's going to be. And I thank God for that.